Hello and welcome. Yesterday, the European currency advanced slightly but then resumed its downward movement in the US session. However, downbeat macroeconomic indicators from the United States did not allow the greenback to break below the 1.0477 mark and hit stronger support levels. The dynamics of the British pound were similar, but its slide was more significant than that of the euro. When the US session opened and data on GDP was released, the pound sterling managed to pair some losses. Demand for the dollar eased following dismal statistics on the US economy. Thus, the Commerce Department reported that the gross domestic product unexpectedly declined at a 1.4% annualized pace in the first quarter against the preliminary estimate of a percent gain. Interestingly, the US economy expanded by almost 7% at the end of the year. Many note that the decline in growth came due to a sharp spike in imports amid boosted demand following the pandemic, as well as a steep drop in imports coupled with a slowing rate of inventory build. The annual GDP increased by 3.6%. The measure of domestic demand grew at a 2.6% rate in the fourth quarter. This indicates that the US economy is rather stable. However, the US reported an increase in weekly initial jobless claims. All this trimmed demand for the greenback. Today's macroeconomic calendar is full of important releases from EU member states. Traders should take notice of data on GDP consumer spending for France, Italy, Spain and Germany. Besides, the euro area is set to release its consumer price index and revise data on GDP. Consumer price growth in the 19 countries sharing the euro is expected to accelerate to 7.5%. The Eurozone economy is forecast to grow by 0.3%. However, if the reading turns out to be worse than expectations, the Euro will come under pressure again the dollar will resume its bullish run. Furthermore, the US will report data on personal income and spending. An increase in these readings would mean that consumers do not to plan to dream spending even amid surging inflation, while their decline could drag the green bag down. In addition, the University of Michigan is set to publish its Consumer Sentiment Index and gauge of inflation expectations. However, this report is of secondary importance and unlikely to have a severe impact on market sentiment. From a technical point of view, I think it's worth focusing on the new annual low of 1.0477, which acts as support, the middle line of 1.0516 and the upper boundary of the sideways range at 1.0557. If the price slides to 1.05, 16 and forms a false breakout in the early European trade, it will be possible to go long counting on a correction of 1.0557 and a subsequent rise to 1.0588. At the level of 1.0588, I recommend selling the pair on a rebound with a view to catching an intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Short positions at 1.05 57 can be considered only in the event of a false breakout. Of course, much will depend on statistics on economic growth in the euro area and its member states. If the price falls below 1.0516 and tested from the bottom up, the volume of short positions will increase. In this case, the euro may approach 1.0477 break below it and extend losses to 1.0426 and 1.0394. At these levels, 
traders will be able to open long positions on the rebound, hoping for the intraday correction of 25-30 pips. Besides, dollar buyers may start locking in profits. This may lead to a more significant rebound in the euro to the area of 1.0557 and 1.0588. Meanwhile, the British pound hit a new annual low, almost fell to the round level of 1.2400, but then entered an upward correction. A false breakout at 1.2478 in the first half of the day of price consolidation above 1.2434 will create a strong buy signal. In this case, the pound sterling will most likely advance to 1.2594 and 1.2640. At the level of 25.2640, I recommend going short on the rebound short positions at 1.2594 and 1.2534 can be considered only amid a false breakout. If the British currency comes under pressure again, fixes below 1.2468 and tests it for the bottom up, short interest will be rise. Thus, the pound dollar pair will slide to the low of 1.2454 and then head of the levels of 1.2396 and 1.2321. At the mark of 1.2321 mark, I think it will be a wise decision to go long on the rebound. Long positions at 1.2394 can be considered only in the event of a false breakout. Good luck and have a nice day!